today we're going to be painting jewelry boxes. Um, all you need is a little wooden box. You can get them at any craft store. Um, some paints and some paint brushes. Yogurt cups to put your paint in and your water. And that's it. So first things first, you want to just paint your base color. Uh, I'm going to use this pink because it's a nice spring color, but you can use any color you want. Um, squeeze a little out and start painting. So I use a big brush for this, it'll just go faster and also then you get a nice even color without as many brush strokes. Um, so you just want to do the whole surface, getting into any little um, grooves you might have. Mine has some little lines in the top, we're going to put a contrast color in there later. but. For now, I just paint the whole thing. Um, it's a nice pink color. And so while you're doing this, it's a great time to think about um, what design you might want to do um, and what other colors you might be using for the rest of the box. I've got some other spring colors lined up here. And so just keep going onto the front. Um, you just want to be extra careful around the any hardware, I'm going to use a smaller brush to do the pink around that part so I don't make a mess. Um, so for now, I'll just kind of leave it nice and wide around that space so I don't have to worry about messing it up. Acrylic paint can be a little tricky to get off things later, so easier to do it with a small brush after. So because my color is kind of light, I'll probably want to do two coats, but just start with one, see how it goes. So, nice thing about acrylic paint is you get nice vibrant colors and it will dry really quickly. So you won't have to worry too much about not touching the wet parts while you're trying to get the whole thing painted. We'll also have some uh, toothpicks on hand so before the paint is dry we'll open the box up just to make sure um, the lid doesn't stick to the bottom because then acrylic paint is a bit like glue so we'll really keep everything shut and we, obviously we don't want that or we won't be able to use our box at the end of the craft okay so we're just going to keep brushing nice even strokes Get the parts where there's maybe a little extra paint has built up. I've got wax paper down so that I don't have to worry about getting paint on my table or um, having my box stick to my surface. Like if you use a newspaper, just make sure you've got a few toothpicks underneath as well or you might end up with little bits of paper stuck to the paint because acrylic paint really, really does work just like glue. So just carefully get to the back of this. See, I can already touch it and there's a little bit of paint's coming off of my hand, but not too much. And okay, so now I'll just um, get that brush into some water, grab some paper towel to dry it off on. Make sure, make sure you get all the color out of there so it doesn't um, ruin the brush. So now I'll just grab a smaller brush to do around the lock. So just go nice and slow so you're not getting any paint on the hardware. And nice even little strokes. So, just open that up to get in between. Carefully hold that open. A little more paint there. Just use some of these toothpicks I've got here to hold the box open. So, while I'm waiting for that to dry, um, I'll start thinking about the design that I 
decided I want to do some flowers. So I had actually already drawn this out. Um, but now while you're waiting is a great time to draw out the design you want. Um, easier to do it on paper first to make sure it looks the way you think it's going to. So I decided to do uh, a couple flowers on the top and then they'll just continue around onto the front. And I decided to put some little gems in the middles of the flowers. I thought that'd be a cute touch. And um, anything like that is great because like I said, acrylic is kind of like a glue. So you can, when it's wet, just pretty much push anything into it and it'll stick on, which can make for some fun embellishments. So I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and finish the second half. Okay, so now that our box is dry, um, we just wanna sketch out our design onto, right onto the box in pencil. Um, nice and light so that it won't show through the paint and then we can get started painting um, Like I said earlier since my box has these little um, Grooves in it. I'm just gonna put a little contrast color in them first um, So I've just got a nice sunny yellow color, which I think will go really well with the pink um, just really carefully Work the paint into those grooves with just a little fine brush um, if you get a little bit on the sides, you can always go back with your base color um, after to cover that up, which is one of the nice things about acrylic. It is quite opaque, so you can go over things if you need to. It's easier to get it right the first time, so we just go nice and slow. I'm just using a little bit of paint so it doesn't go over the edges. Yeah, so once that's dry, we can touch up any spaces where we've um, gone out of the lines a little bit. Even with a fine brush, it can be a little bit tricky. And even if your box doesn't have um, any details like this, sometimes it's nice to um, add them on anyway to create sort of a, a border for your pattern to give a little... Um, little form to your design. Okay, let me just finish this line over on the back here. There's a few places that I'm going to have to touch up later, but that's okay. It's nice and easy to do that. So just get all the yellow out of that brush there. And then we'll get our next color ready. So I've decided my flowers are going to be purple. So I'll just get a little bit of that out onto my little yogurt lid. And for this, I'm going to use a bigger brush that's got sort of a curved edge. So it'll just help me get that shape without having to do a lot of extra work. So just carefully do each petal. Just get a nice even um, application of paint for each petal. And just spread out any places where it's a little thick. I'm making sure it covers all my pencil lines so we don't see those after. Yeah, the nice thing about using a brush like this shape is just press it down. I don't even really have to do any extra work trying to get that shape nice and even. I just place it down and that's going to make the shape for me nice and easy. Okay, now I've got a couple on the front as well. So you can see um, the pencil lines that I'm going to fill in to do the stems of the flowers um, and then the purple for the petals. Just a couple more up here. It's just a nice um, springy lavender color. You could use any color you like, or you could use a bunch of different colors if you um, wanted a variety of different kinds of flowers, especially if you're using a, a, a box a little bit bigger than this one. That would be really nice to get some variety and just play around with which colors you like. Okay, so now that those are done, just rinse off this brush. and. While you're working, it's fine to just rinse them, but after it's um, 
a good idea to use a little dish soap and um, really make sure you get all the paint out of your brushes so it'll last longer and um, you won't end up accidentally transferring any color when you use them later. But for now, just a little water is going to do the trick. Okay, so you can use a little green for the stem, so nice, another nice spring color. Um, put some on my tray here. Well, go back to my one of my fine brushes and just get a little bit of green paint on there. Not too much because a little goes a long way. It always ends up being more than you think, so you just want a nice gentle touch and just start in one of the corners so you won't end up putting your hand down on top of it. Um, just I find little, little tiny strokes easier to get a straight line if you Sometimes if you try to do it all in one go, it's a little harder to control than you think, and it ends up getting a bit messy. So sometimes it's easier to just do, take your time and just do tiny little strokes. And then a little extra for, got some leaves along the stems here. Same thing like the petals, I can basically just push my brush down. And then, so as you can see the design is really starting to take shape. Then I'll just do the ones on the front of the box. And making sure that all the pencil lines are covered up with a nice thick application of paint. Even if it's thick, it'll still dry pretty quickly, so that's one of the nice things about working with acrylic. You can really get a nice vibrant color with thick application of paint. And one more down at the bottom. Okay, so then there's two on the front as well. So now that I feel like the design looks pretty even, I'll just wash off this brush. Then grab those little gems I had for the um, center of the flowers. Just find ones that look like a good size. And just carefully, carefully stick them down. These ones are um, tacky on the bottom like a sticker. So if you have um, ones that are not a sticker, just make sure the paint's wet or put a little um, little bit of white glue on the bottom should do the trick. Okay. So three on the top. And then two on the front. And there we have it, a nice little box to keep all our um, jewelry or whatever little trinkets or memory type things you want to store in there.